Hello dudes and girls, Jordi here from Yepper Design and welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. I had lots of requests of people asking me how to make a tutorial on something they saw in a video and what they are actually looking for is how to keyframe or animate your videos. I know I already have a basic training tutorial where I explain the keyframing but this tutorial goes a little deeper on it. Uh, so welcome to the advanced keyframing tutorial one of the most important things in professional video editing for basic users. Okay, so I've got a title right here. I'm gonna drag it to my timeline. Uh, I assume you already know how to create a title. Uh, if not, check out my website, which is yepperdesign.com and click on the basic training. Okay, so you click on it, you go to the effect control tab, you open up the motion and here we can keyframe. Um, this here is your timeline. Okay, uh, if you see, if I move this, it will also move in here. So I go to the beginning of my uh, of the timeline, and I'm gonna make a keyframe for let's say the scale. So this little little button here will toggle the animation. If I click on it, it will automatically make a keyframe. You can also make keyframes with this the little button once you have uh, toggled the animation on. If I click on it, it will now remove the key the keyframe. Okay, if there's no keyframe, it will add a keyframe. This keyframe contains this value, which is 100. So if I go forward in time, let's say around here, and I will change the value, let's say to 150. Okay, the scale is now 150, so the yapperdesign.com is bigger. Uh, it will automatically make a keyframe. Okay, I can remove the keyframe and make another keyframe. Um, it's back to 100 now. Now, if I go stand on this keyframe, which is 100, I can change the value of it. If you stand on it, the keyframe will be highlighted, as you see in here. If I don't stand on it, you see, like that, I'm not standing on it, the keyframe isn't highlighted, okay? So, if I want this keyframe, I go on it, so I see the keyframe which is highlighted, and now I can change the value of that keyframe. Let's say 150. Okay, go to the beginning now, I'm going to play this video, it will zoom in. And that's because this val this keyframe has a value of 100, and this one has a value of 150. And between that, you see, it will rise to 150. Okay, now I want this to be still for a, a moment. So again, we'll go again forward in time, and I'm going to create a keyframe of the same value of, of this one. So it will go from 150 to 150 which is just still, okay? Now, now if I go again forward in time, I'm gonna change this value to 100 to automatically create a new keyframe of 100. So it will go from 150 to 100, okay? Now, of course, you can still change the position of the keyframes. You can also take multiple keyframes and change the position of it, okay? So what we have created now is this. And now you can basically do everything in Premiere Pro. I mean, you can animate everything in Premiere Pro. Because not only scale, but also the rotation and other uh, and, and the position can uh, can be can be keyframed in the motion tab. But not only the motion, also the optici, the time remapping and so on. And if you're looking for an, an, an effect, a, a plugin, okay, it doesn't matter which effect you choose. Just for example, uh, for example, I'm gonna choose a Gaussian blur, okay? Doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna drag it onto my clip. Okay, it appears here in my effect control. I'm gonna open it up. And you can see, you can also keyframe here, the effect. So you can change the, the blurness. Now let's say I want a blurness. Uh, in the beginning, it has to be zero. We go, I'm gonna scale it up. Let's say right here, the blurness has to be around 10. There we go. I go again forward in time to the end, and here the blurriness has to go has to be again zero. So we'll be going from zero to ten, from ten to zero. Now if I'm gonna play it now, you see we got this. And as I said before, you can do this with everything at the same time. Okay? And you don't need to line up here. You see, of course it's beautiful sometimes if you line up your keyframes. But you can also say this keyframe has to be right here, okay? Each position is unique. Now, something else. This 
is not going very smoothly. You see, it will zoom in, bang, it stopped, and bang, it will go back. So what you can do is if you click on this keyframe, you right click on it, and you change it to ease in or ease out. In this case, we're going to ease out, okay? And you see the keyframe will change a little bit, okay? If we're going to play it now, it will, it will smoothly stop. You see? And the same thing you can do with this one, we can ease it in, okay? So it will ease in, okay? So this is not a linear variable, this will not change linear, okay? This will, yeah, ease in, <laughs> okay? Um, I hope you learned something out of this tutorial right now. So this is basically what you, what you can do with the keyframe. Oh yeah, well, one more thing. Um, someone asked me how to, to make something you saw in a video, so let me just show you. This here is just an, a normal picture of the basic training. If I click on it, I go to motion, I'm going to scale it down, you see. So you was asking to me how to, how to make something. Yeah, I don't really how to, I don't really know how to name it. Uh, let's say in the beginning it's a scale of 30, around here, okay. Scale it up. You go one frame forward, what you do is by clicking this button. One frame forward, I'm going to change it to, let's say, 50. There we go. So it will go from one frame 30 to 50. So there's no animation in it. Okay. We go again forward in time. I'm going to create another keyframe for 50. One frame forward, I'm going to make it 20 now. Okay. So if I play this now, you will get this bang, bang, zoom in. Okay. So you can do this as many times as you want. You can. Okay, if you want it to be faster, bang, bang, okay? So if this was, uh, you saw this little video on how to do this, well, you just keyframe it like that, okay? You can also keyframe two frames uh, right ahead, okay? You don't need a, a amount of time between it, okay? You can do it as you want, okay? Uh, thank you everyone for watching, and of course, I hope you learned something out of this advanced keyframing.